Okay, so today what we're going to do is read data in from files, write data out from files. To start out, we need to decide where we're going to save everything and connect everything. So if I print my working directory, and I can see where I am also in the file browser here, maybe I want to change this and go in. So wherever you're saving your files for this class, just kind of change it around to that directory. And for this one, maybe I want to make a new folder. So I'm going to say MKDIR, and I'm just going to call this folder data. So I've created a new data folder right here in my file browser called data, and this is where I'll go ahead and store everything. So Excel is great for um, storing data. It's a good start. So rather than using a straight text file or tab delimited, Let's go ahead and create a data set in Excel. And for this, we can start out with something very simple. So, I don't know, just a random three by three matrix. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this in, let's see where that folder was. So I'll just call it sample data file. Okay, so now if I look under data, there I am. And let's go ahead and print working directory, make sure I'm here. The first thing we'll have, probably have to do is actually download a package that allows us to read Excel files in. Let me try it out one. So I'll say S equals read. And I want that sample data file. So I'm, I think I'm going to get a warning message here. Yeah. So it says, I don't have my IO package. The next thing we need to do here is go to help and get that package. Okay, so we're over here at the Octave Forge. Click on Packages, scroll on down, lots of fun things here, and I'm going to download this thing. So you'll have to kind of sit here and wait for it. When it is done, go ahead and save as, and we're going to save this file into the same folder that we have everything else in. So here's our in out package and we're saving it in the same folder. So now if I list the files in that directory, I now have two files in the directory. So I have that Excel file that I made and I also have this new package that's in here. Okay, once that package is in here, I need to install it. So package install, if you list the files in your directory, then you can control C and control V. So you can make sure that that file name is in there correctly. The install might take a while, so wait for it. Once that package is finally installed, go ahead and load it. I'll wait for that one too. And now that our in out is loaded, let's go ahead and try and read that file again. I just arrowed up to get to those previous commands. That's kind of a convenient thing. So arrow up to get to previous commands and yay. So now we have some matrix S and it has our information from Excel file. And this is a matrix so if I want to get you know some element out of it so that goes down two rows and over three or I can say like 
S divided by itself, I'll get a unit vector or I can multiply all the elements by two or something. So now I have that data and I can start manipulating it like I want. Maybe I want to not just read a data in from a file, but create a new data file. I'm going to make a new matrix. So I'll set, call this S2 equals S times 2. Why not? Okay, so I have this new matrix that's different than that original data set. And I'm going to go ahead and write this out. So instead of XLS read, we're going to do XLS write. And what, so I'll say sample two. So we're giving it a new file name and I'm going to write out that new set of data that we just created. So we'll go ahead and hit enter, wait for it. And here is our new file. So if we go ahead and open up that file, so you can use this file browser just like your Windows file browser. And now we have two data sets. This was a really, really simple data set. And for the next video, we're going to grab some, a larger data set, which is really where this comes in handy.